Hey guys, we're here with DJ. I'm um, back at my church site. Uh, first two hours here, I got 52 old coins um, from 1930s and under. So there's got to be a few more here. I just got a pretty good solid target here. Let me find it. There it is. It's reg It's bouncing. Well, it's bouncing around, but. Seven inches. There's always that chance it's iron. And I did, uh, this was the hot spot, so I came here right to this area first. Let's see if I missed anything initially. So, hopefully, we got a, a deep silver. But, I was reading more of the uh, penny range, but it was bouncing, so we'll see. And it's bugging me out. Look at all these freaking, I don't know if you can see them, but there's these wasps. I don't know what they are. They're like some cicada killers, some huge yellow and black horns. They are surrounding me. It's got me a little nervous. Yeah, it's down there. Let me see. Let me see something shiny. Where'd you go? There it is. Not shiny. Weedy. All these weeds were uh, really early teens. That's a 1916 or an 18, I believe. Cool. So hopefully the fun begins. It's uh, 90 some degrees out. I got wasps surrounding me. These are the ground digging kind too, the burrowing ones that'll come out. So running the MX Sport, 13 inch coil, trying to get a little extra depth from the other day. Then I'll see what I can do. I'll get back to you. All right, got a good target here. It's jumping. It's got the depth of it. That's really all I'm looking for. Seven and a half inches. Oh, I'm dying out here. I'm, uh, I am I want to get more live digs on film here, but it's just so hard. I'm sweating so bad. I can't keep the sweat out of my eyes and my glasses. I got these freaking wasps hovering all around me. Look at them. Everywhere. All right, here we go. It's hard to dig a plug one-handed. Like I said, I'm not much of a video guy, but... All right, we're down there. We got it. Let's see what it is. Oh, scoop. That's an Indian. Here we go. And that's basically how I'm identifying these coins from the depth range. I'm um, getting some jumpy VDI numbers, but they're in the uh, the right frame. They're in the right range, so I'm digging them. But yeah, there we go. Most likely that's the early 1900s or the late 1800s. That's what all of them have been. But there's an Indian. Uh, I got two so far. Uh, couple wheat pennies and export doing its job so yeah two Indians five wheats and this uh, pretty cool cuff uh, cuff link really heavily gold gilted I don't think that's gold but yeah pretty nice so I'll keep at it see how much longer I can last I'm just afraid I'm going to get smacked by one of these freaking hornets or whatever. Oh my god, they're everywhere.
All right, well, I wasn't gonna film this one live. Um, it is a good sounding signal. Might be a dime or a quarter. Um, registered at only three inches, but it's deeper than that. So, let's see what it is together. The silver ratio is not adding up here. So I would uh, I'd like to see some silver, and it's not, it's a nickel. Buffalo, yep, the mighty buffalo. You see that? Cool. Well, that was odd. It was definitely a higher signal for a nickel. But again, it's the depth. The depth is what shows me. It only registered a couple inches, but when I went to pinpoint it, it was deeper than what it said. So it turned out to be a buffalo nickel. I'll take it. All right. I'm still in that last hole, and uh, I went to put it back, and I uh, double-checked it, and there's still a penny signal in, the, in there. That's exactly why it was jumping. I was confused on why that was a nickel, but coming in high. Coil's telling me there's something in the plug yet, so I bet you it's a clad penny. That's why the machine was double-jumping. There it is. That's not a penny. I don't know what that is, but that's the high tone. Yep. Oh, you can see that, but that's why it was jumping. But I heard the nickel too. It touched on the 40s, so the nickel was what? Good four four inches underneath that washer ring thing, whatever it was, and still heard the nickel came through. That's why I love this machine. And export, baby. Whew, man, I'm dying, dripping sweat. I see my first silver. I see the rim. Probably a rosy. <laughs> oh, it's a Merc, 46. Nice. Or is that a 40? Yeah. Looks to be in good shape. Cool, I haven't worked uh, any of this little strip yet. So hopefully I can get a couple more out of here. Double check that hole. And clear. Awesome. Oh, still in the same plug as the silver. Just on the other side of the hole. I rechecked the hole, I had another screamer. Come on, baby. Where did you go? It's amazing how these coins can get pushed. There it is. Looks like a weedy. Yep. So Merc and a weedy together. I told you. I find that most of these coins are uh, coming in pairs, which I think is screwing up my VDI uh, numbers to be right on. Because uh, most of them are always jumpy. But I'm getting them. That's all that counts. Well, just got this thing. Type of pin. Gold plated, stones on the front. <clears throat> I clean that up when I get home. It's about to storm again. I don't know. Every time I come here, it pours on me. I think it could be pretty though. Freaking deep, I tell you that. Mm. Alright, this might be my last one. Um, got a bunch more Indians, a couple buffs. I switched over to all metal mode because things were getting quiet. I pulled out a barber dime. Uh, so yeah, this is a fun sight. But this might be my last hole. That's an ugly hole.
That's a weedy. Is that 1916? Oh man. Uh, since that's the last one. Do my, uh, do my wrap up. I am whooped. Alright, so we got all wheat pennies. Not even sure how many. Uh, let's see, these are all Indians. One, two, three, four, five, six Indians. Uh, two silvers, barber, Merc, two buffs. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. Also found the other piece that broke off of it in the hole. And I got this pin. That'll be fun to clean up. See what that looks like. Got the gold cufflink I already showed you. A uh, little great seal. Looks like an underwear button. If they even had great seal underwear buttons. heart pendant this thing was super deep and that's about it so yeah right here was the hot spot literally this whole area right in here was loaded with Indians buffalo nickels wheat pennies uh, as I mentioned earlier I was wondering if there's a stand I mean I'm this close to the church this was the main yard uh, wonder what's under that parking lot. It's a shame that's gone, but I guarantee you there's a ton of coins under there. So, yeah, until next time. Uh, I think next time I come here, I'm going to bring uh, either the 6-inch shooter or the 7-inch D-Tech. Uh, just to see if I can get in between. There's not much trash here, but I was digging some deep nails that tricked me. So, I'm looking for that silver. The silver ratio is not adding up. What's that? Three silvers to, what did I get? 11... Six, 17 Indian head pennies. Well, probably close to 100 wheat pennies for six buffalo nickels total and one V nickel. So the history is here, 1906. Finds are here. There's still more in the ground for sure. You can never get it all. So until next time.